bit more of that same church file and we've opened up the panorama from PT GUI now of course into Adobe Photoshop and you can see we've got a couple of imperfections that will probably make most professional photographers cringe because this wasn't properly bracketed so we're going to show you basically a little technique called if I can show you here it's image shadows <laughs> and this menu doesn't want to behave shadow highlights it's one of the cool features in Adobe Photoshop and it's built into CS uh, 5 and even CS uh, 6 so you can adjust the tolerance a little bit here for the shadows so 30 35 40 45 percent you might want to play with this a little bit but if you can't go back to a location and reshoot the entire scene because you know one half the tour looked kind of dark this is one of those things that might quite possibly save you from getting fired except things like that you've got the uh, tripod arm you should have turned the camera around and pointed it the other direction we can photoshop this out the other thing i want to show you is a little thing called this silver mirror ball nadir now this is the cap nadir it's got three different sizes small medium and large and it's kind of tough to see load actions over here so i'm going to move this menu over a little bit more and over here is where you load it initially load actions it's a, a free script and you can get that from the vpix website or if not email me and i'll get that to you but you're going to basically pick it up put it in your desktop and load it and after you load it it'll be right here so if i click on cap i'm going to go select the big xxl silver mirror ball and all i do is press that little tiny triangle play and when you do that there you go instant silver mirror ball unfortunately it wasn't big enough to cover up that little you know arm that's kind of sticking out here for the uh, tripod so we're not going to do a really good job on this because it's a short tutorial but if you know how to use the rubber stamp clone tool uh, you can certainly do a very good job and nobody will know the darn thing was even there so I'm gonna go ahead and shrink my window a little bit and if you're not familiar with these tools I'm gonna give you a quick little crash course on how to clone away the floor alright so there's a close-up shot here of this little arm on your tripod and we're gonna pick up basically color and pattern from here so it's an option click and then you just simply paint if you uh, kinda do the uh, little brackets there on your keyboard you can kinda make your brush a little bit bigger here so I can go 10 pixels bigger or 10 pixels smaller and you just simply pick up whoops pick up a little the effect here and again I'm not doing a really good job I'm being a little sloppy here not on purpose but only because I don't want to bore everybody to death with a long tutorial but you need to start practicing some of these Photoshop tools because they'll really really come in handy when you're doing panoramic photography because you're going to screw up sooner or later and when you do it's always nice to be able to say haha nobody knows and you can kind of clone things out of the picture so that's enough of how to rubber stamp and clone your background alright so basically I'm just going to go ahead and leave that alone for now and I'm going to go to file and go save for web and devices now it's going to give you a little warning saying hey it's too big eh, forget about it just hit the yes thing there and what you're going to do basically here is you're going to turn if you've got your Photoshop uh, saved for web and devices saved for PNG or uh, GIF you want to make sure it's set for JPEG uh, JPEG you want to have and the two up option is going to be important you'll see original optimized two up and four up you only want to see kind of like the before and after and you don't want to over compress this thing too much either but uh, Photoshop does give you some cool compression abilities and now that I've resized this you can see what I'm doing I'll choose JPEG over here and when that's done it's going to basically change over a few things but over here in the corner 4.75 megs is just too big to upload to vpix nobody's going to wait that long to watch these panels load the ideal size to be is between 900k and 1.2 megabytes so i'm going to make this thing 50 percent quality on the compression and look at that 1.132 that's fine and if you just kind of scroll around a little bit do a quick before and after make sure these things aren't over compressed look at the before look at the after that looks good to me so size this box a little bit more up 
and you'll simply hit the save button and typically you want to put these in the same folder that you've got your tour images uh, and the original stitched images uh, from so this way you kind of keep some neat and orderly and that's basically it save it and then you can upload your panels to vpix later